stay tuned and let's take a look at this Marvel Legends Totally Awesome Hulk Marvel's Build a Figure Wave Marvel Boy. Ciao and welcome back to the channel Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember now you can hit that join button. Channel member as well. If I show some love or join the members club, much, much appreciated. Today we continue looking at this Marvel Legends totally awesome Hulk builder figure wave, aka the Marvel's wave. And what a perfect character we have for that. We have Marvel Boy, aka Nova. Now this character actually fits into a few places into the collection and we will explain all. But here he is on the digital render on the front of the box. We get a comic image on the side which is actually from Young Avengers as that's what this costume design represents. On the back we get another digital render, the builder figure of pieces he comes with, plus his only accessories are those gauntlets that can turn into like different weapons. On the side of the box we get an image of the totally Awesome Hulk complete. To build him, you will need to buy six of the seven figures in this wave. Today we're reviewing Marvel Boy. So let's not mess around and get him open. Here we have Nova out of the packaging with those gauntlet blasters I've just mentioned. Now, of course, he comes with the builder figure arm for the totally awesome Hulk, but I'm switching things up and I've already reviewed the builder figure on the channel. So go and check out the playlist and you can go and see my totally awesome Hulk review right now. Today, we are focusing on Marvel Boy and where will this guy fit into your collection as he's had quite a few costumes, all of them slightly tweaked, this one is definitely more Young Avengers, but in case you don't know who he is, let me try and explain. Marvel Boy, aka Nova, is a Kree from an alternative universe. He joined the Dark Avengers, but reforms and joins the Avengers, most noticeably the Young Avengers, and recently had a stint with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, obviously, those are the very brief cliff notes. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in between all of that. But in its most simplest form, all you need to know is Nova, aka Marvel Boy, is a Kree from an alternative part of the multiverse. And on his way home, Crash lands here on Earth in the 616 and has been here ever since. And has been part of multiple storylines and different teams. And that's what we're trying to figure out today. Where does this figure go? So zooming in, checking out the head score. The digital face printing tech always looks really nice and he has his iconic white hair with that tiny little strand dangling over the front. But overall, decent head sculpt. It is definitely new for Nova. Uh, spin it round, it's all slick back. Definitely a bit of grey wash in there as well. It's like an off-white with like a grey wash to bring out some of that sculpted detail. I would like alternative options for a character like this, maybe different expressive heads. But for a neutral expression, I'm absolutely fine with this one. Uh, they've always done a pretty Pretty good job with the digital face printing tech on these comic characters so yeah no complaints there but taking a look at his outfit now as i said he's been a part of multiple teams different storylines and his outfit is always very similar but slightly tweaked now the outfit that this figure represents is from the recent young avengers sort of run so this is definitely a young avengers representation of marvel boy even more recently he's been part of the guardians of the galaxy where he's got a little bit more gold and also he's wearing short shorts. So this is definitely not that Guardians run. And I know a lot of people want this guy to sort of fill out their Dark Avengers in the Legends format, but he's not wearing the right uniform. Like there's no black in that uniform at all. So you'd be fudging him in there. It's the right character, but the wrong costume. So hopefully we get a Dark Avengers box set in the future, but I will compare him to some of those figures as we move through this uh, and see how he looks. But this figure is on the Sun Fire body. So we sort of know what range to expect. It's got the double jointed pins on the knees and elbows and ultimately it's not the worst marvel legends body it's not the best either uh, so yeah it is what it is but the the paintwork seems quite clean and the design is very accurate to what we see in the comics as well we get the white in the middle with the green sort of pipe work uh, with the black and then we got the gold on the side there so we got the gold on both shoulders my decal seems to be like off 
a little bit off centre, if you know what I mean. Because his arms are straight, but that gold is like a little bit too far back compared to that one. So I've got some off centre gold there. Uh, the belt is gold with a red. And then on the hand, he's actually got his gauntlets uh, that can transform into like different weapons. I think there's a comic panel where he's got like a minigun, which I quite liked. Uh, but in this format, uh, we get his pistols, which shoot out like plasma and stuff. So yeah, these gauntlets on his wrist basically can transform into different weapons. And in Marvel Legends form, they've gave us these accessories. So we're going to try them in a second. But they're gold with a little bit of red to match the belt. And then down here, the legs of the white on the inside with the green trim, black on the outside. And then you've got like the green pipe work on the boots as well. You can see the boot cut, double jointed, knees, kick his own ass, no problem. Thigh cut, legs go out quite far side was quite far as i said it's not the worst marvel legends body mold at all uh, decent crunch down as well decent crunch back and then he's got the butterfly joints next on a disc and hinge so again decent range if you want to get him in some flying poses and stuff but uh, i'm sure he can fly i know he can as protector but that's a different story and um, but uh yeah there we go so two trigger finger hands out the box no interchangeable hands at all but that is so he will hold the pistols the guns the gauntlets whatever you want to call them he will hold them in the trigger finger hands and both of the hands uh, have the up and down on the wrist as well which is a nice for gun wielding hands i like that and you'll notice as well there's a tiny little hole in the front of both of these guns so if you have any muzzle effects from marvel legends or other places you can put them in here and have a little bit more life to the shelf and to the display so i like that they added that little hole but disappointing that they didn't give us any blast effects to fill it so uh, they did half a job there but the gauntlets are nicely done in the gold that matches the separate gold belt of course that covers that waist swivel uh, with the red that actually lines up on his hand perfectly to cover the gauntlets because if i slowly move these out the way if i get my lighting just right uh, you'll see it lines up with the gauntlets underneath so remember those gauntlets on his wrists uh, on his hand sorry turn into the weapons so that's a nice overlay uh, that uh, sort of demonstrates his ability quite well in figure form and these are uniquely sculpted with some nice sculpt work going across done in that sort of marbleized gold plastic so uh yeah you'll be able to get this guy in some great poses uh again uh, probably not right now <laughs> because I need to straighten it all out. But uh, get some blast effects in there. And there's definitely some fun comic panels in the Young Avengers where he's jumping around, shooting a lot of bad guys with these guns. So I actually really like these as an accessory choice for Nova here. So yeah, we'll add a little bit of something to the display. Moving into comparisons, as you can see, first up, I've put Hawkeye, aka Kate Bishop, next to him to represent the Young Avengers. But before we mention them, I do want to say we have had a version of Nova in the past. Cast your mind back to the epic heroes days. We actually had him in his protector form when the super intelligence gave him those nega bands and it sort of gives him that alternative look. So I don't have that figure, but hopefully I remember to throw up a picture on screen. Back to Kate Bishop from the Young Avengers. Avengers. Now, technically, we need Hawkling, uh, Miss America, Patriot, Prodigy, Speed, Stinger, Wiccan, Young Loki, and even Iron Lad to sort of fill out that team and different characters and variations of it. We have had Stinger, came in a two-pack with uh, Ant-Man that I don't have. So if I had Stinger, I would have put her on the table as well. But right now, uh, let me just bring in Nova, who was part of the Guardians team recently uh, and is another sort of young character. So you can see, obviously, he's on a much shorter body than Nova on the Sunfire. And I suppose this is what most people are interested in seeing. How does Nova fit into your Dark Avengers setup? Now, as I said, it is the same character, but he is wearing the wrong costume. So if you want to fudge it, that is completely up to you, as it is down to personal preference. It's your display after all. Technically, none of these on the table are accurate representations of the Dark Avengers. As I said, fingers crossed for a box set, but they're close. Like Black Sea Spider-Man's obviously close. So's Sentry, so's Ares, the Bullseye as Hawkeye is close but not quite right and then Nova his costume didn't have the black it had the sort of green and white rather than the black so uh yeah not perfect but if you wanted to see how it looked there you go and yes we absolutely need a new Iron Patriot I missed out on the previous one so hoping for a new one soon here we have another Kree in the form of Ronan the Accuser and then I thought I'd bring in Hercules because if you know you know 
For a couple of different Marvel Legend body types, here we have Vulcan and Spider-Man, the Renew Your Vows version. And here we have Marvel Boy compared to the other comic book figures in this very same totally awesome Hulk Builder figure wave as we have the Hulk right there with Karnak and then Commander Rogers and Iron Man. Go and check out the reviews on the playlist. And of course, here we have some of the Who crew with Frogman, Tigra, and Jocasta. And remember, she's reading out YouTube comments. Who have you picked today? Cool Toys UK says, I hope Jocasta doesn't read this comment. And of course, last but not least, Captain Britain and Hal Fire Hank. So, final thoughts on this Marvel Legends totally awesome Hulk builder figure wave, aka the Marvels wave, Nova Marvel Boy. Now, this is a very nice representation of this particular era for Marvel Boy. As I said, this is his young Avengers look, though that's where I put him in my display, even though we are missing a lot of those characters to build at that team. Come on, Hasbro, what you're playing at. Uh, maybe a repaint down the line for a Dark Avengers lineup. I know that would be a popular box set. But let me know in the comments below where you're going to put your Marvel Boy in your collection. Always curious. And I do like the figure. What lets it down, like always with Legends at the minute, unfortunately, is the lack of accessories. We really needed some more interchangeable hands here for more expressive poses. A different head as well would have been great. But I do like the gauntlets. I do like those gauntlet guns. They're a unique piece for him. And they gave us the ports, but no blasters. So again, more blasters. So again, I'm just being greedy. I want more. That's what I'm saying for the price point but you let me know what you think in the comments below and if you like marvel legends and well you're in the right place check out the videos tab find the playlist but most importantly please 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 hit that subscribe button hit all and the notification bell don't miss out on a video and please hit that join button become a channel member if you show some love or join the members club much much appreciated you can follow me on instagram at it's dan who i'm on twitter as well don't be shy tweet me dan who reviews. And remember, leave a comment and Jocasta may read it on the next review. You gotta leave one to find out. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>